I'm up. Welcome to service. I'm Cody Lee Williams, and we're here to bring you a weekly hour of devotion featuring the house and techno culture of Los Angeles and abroad. Service is brought to you by Shout Drive. You can view us on our video cast through YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook Live, and of course through the source here at ShoutDrive.com. You can also find us through our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash ShoutDrive Sundays. Feel free to reach out through email or by posting on our live feed. Our focus here is to bring you some of the best Los Angeles has to offer in our extensive underground. And today, uh, our guest is Mr. Marcus Wyatt. Hi, Marcus. How's it going? It's I, it's going quite well. <laughs> I'm, I'm especially excited oh, yeah. to see you here today. It's good to be here. Oh, my God. It's good to have you. I, I uh, We have you at Lightning in a Bottle every year, and you just mm-hmm. kind of... You set the tone, like you just you bring it. Thanks. You absolutely do. Um, I've seen you rock a huge crowd in the desert, mm-hmm. and and small dark venues in LA, and you somehow managed to make it feel intimate, regardless mm-hmm. oh, of where you are. Uh, it, it is a magical quality that you seem to possess. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's true. Um, several months I did ago. My best. What? I do my best. You do do your best. Right. Your best is awesome. Um, several months ago, we had a guy named George Reasoner to play on this show. And he produced a film called Liquid Vinyl, which was all about a house and techno music, specifically how it started and what it meant for right. people. And they interviewed people from around the world. And you were in it mm-hmm. uh, with people like Frankie Knuckles, Tony Humphreys, Carl Cox, Larry T. Right. Um, and in the film... You talk about the point, the beginning of this for you uh, uh, right. at places like Paradise Garage. Right, yeah. Um, and I, what was that like back then? To be, did what? you know that you were at the start of something that was so no, powerful? No, no. I just knew I experienced something very special. You know, I, I was um, starting to understand, like, just what a, what a gift it was to be able to experience you know, or the East Coast, um, you know, underground sound and what have you, you know, coming from, you know, L.A. and let alone the beach enclave of Santa Monica. Right. Um, you know, and so uh, there it just opened me up in a different way and, you know, never really looked back. Yeah, the guys, uh, the guys that, that did Paradise Garage talk about how, um, it, you know, it was a place where everyone kind of came together gay straight black mm-hmm. white and it, it yeah. transcended our ideas of yeah. i i'd we never were. been to a place like that uh, you know i didn't even know a place like that existed until you know i walked in the door and we ended up there serendipitously like um a guy on on the street stops us ask us if we had a cigarette and he could tell i guess by our cali accents that we weren't from there and he asked us if uh, we were going to Paradise Garage that night. And we were like, what is that? <laughs> He's like, you don't know about Paradise Garage? And uh, gave us the information and we made it, you know. I mean, uh, we that, were definitely going to go. That was some place that yeah. I ran to. I remember as a kid seeing uh, a movie called Thank God It's Friday. Mm-hmm. And the DJ, there was a DJ in that film. It was Donna mm-hmm. Summer was in that movie. And, there were, yeah. and the DJ booth was a bowl that was held aloft by a a hand a giant hand Mm -hmm. and i thought that was the coolest thing i'd ever seen well that's actually it's interesting that you mentioned that because that's where i did my first party get out at at osco's disco on la cienega well which is now uh you know uh is in the area where the beverly center is and i had no idea that was an actual yeah yeah it it was called osco's disco and that's where i did my first party called the bbc there yeah. Holy crap! That made such. A yeah. Impression. So it was really interesting for me to like see the movie and go, I'm actually DJing in this booth right here. You know. In the That's movie. crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I was a, a runaway in New York City when I was 14 years old, yeah. and I was dancing in 1983, mm-hmm. and I was dancing in the basement of the Ninth Circle and the Monster, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. going to these these places, and there was an electric quality to it that yeah. I was instantly hooked. Yeah. You know, and yeah. everybody that everybody came there back then. It was yeah. like a speakeasy or something. Right. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. It was fantastic. And you talk in the film about you were at a party that Keith Herring was having and you left you would leave that party at three in the morning to go to New Jersey. Yeah. To Zanzibar to see Tony Humphreys play. And it, you know, and yeah. when I saw that I thought 
how being in the center of all of that yeah. powerful culture. Yeah. It wasn't just Keith a uh, Keith Herring party. Dave Morales was totally rocking the party, but we were still so committed to going to Jersey and taking the PATH train, which I don't know if you know anything about it, but they usually wouldn't recommend it <laughs> at that time of night <laughs> for some kids from L.A. to take this train at, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever. So, But we had to go see Tony, and we were glad we went. Like, it's, you know, I just remember knocking on the door to the booth to say hello to Tony and like Marshall Jefferson opens the door you know to the DJ booth so, and it's like a you know who's who was of house music was hanging out in the booth there I mean to, Tony is a man you know most people in LA know know you uh, from deep yeah. they know uh, you've been doing that for like 18 years yeah. now uh, which is and more often than not you manage to hit it but mm-hmm. I, th- I feel like we're all chasing that kind of church right we're all chasing mm-hmm. those moments when we're playing where where there's a, a transcendence mm-hmm. to the experience right that mm-hmm. that the, the vibe builds and you seem to hit the nail on the head mm-hmm. more often than than mm-hmm. not right mm-hmm. like if, if i go to a deep event mm-hmm. i i trust that i'm right. going to have a certain kind of experience mm-hmm. what is it that you think is pro- provides that kind of alchemy like what elements need to come together for that kind of magic to happen because we're talking about how it happened in new york and now it, it you know to this yeah, day la's at a very special place right now i mean i grew up here and everything and i'm seeing the uh music scene evolve in a way that i haven't seen before you know so we're in a special you know it's at a special place and uh and i would just say with regard to answering your question um i think the alchemy happens from just allowing things to be and not trying, right? you know, like, like just, uh, you know, tapping into the energy of the room. Like when people ask me, oh, do you know what you're playing? Basically, do you have your set lined up? And I'm like, no, I don't know who's going to be there. You know what I mean? And so I wait until I uh, kind of feel into the room and who's there and, you know, kind of choose, you know, paint my picture from there, so to speak. Right. You know. Right. Well, we, we've been trying to kind of, go about that grow this show organically Mm -hmm. and it was called service it's Mm -hmm. on a sunday yeah for obvious reasons right like and um so we we've followed guests in here kind of almost like you would like i did my career evolved right so Mm -hmm. i meet people and it's all very familial you know it's all it all grows kind of naturally um Mm -hmm. So in the film, I'm going to go back to the film. Mm-hmm. You say something that's really great. Um, you say that at the heart of this for you is spirituality and that uh, a lot of the answers you've sought for in your life have been answered through your relationship with music. Yeah. Uh, which yeah, I thought was a true. really beautiful statement. And, mm-hmm. and, and also that music has healing properties. And, yeah. and I agree with you yeah. completely. Can, can you elaborate on, on that for us? Well, I just feel that Um, it's always been a a grounding force for me, you know, and so if anything's going on, rough day or whatever, it can always turn to music for, you know, it's my reset button, you know. Right. It's, uh, you know, kind of like a sunset, you know, (laughs) you know. Right. No, I do know. I do know. Um, uh, You said something really profound that, that, you know, you didn't know if uh, this experience was something that you were having alone or that everyone's having together. Of course, the overwhelming take is that we're all having this together. But if you mm-hmm. try to explain it to somebody who's not not a part of it, it's such a profound experience that it sounds a little crazy to try to mm-hmm. to, to get it across to people. Well, it's know? just like, uh, you know, I had everyone tell me about Burning Man for 10 years until I, when I finally went, I'm like, you can't explain this. You know, what I mean? so it's, uh, I right. kind of put it on that sort of uh, kind of, you know, those things are similar in that way. You know, you just can't explain it. You, you, you know, you kind of trust and go experience it and, you know, allow your life to change from there. <laughs> you shift. Well, you, you also said that you, yeah. you, you, you feel like you look forward to every gig and then I, when that stops yeah. for you, that's yeah. when you'll stop, but you yeah. haven't stopped. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> you know, it's like still, uh, you know, things are, you know, uh, interesting and different things happen and 
work, there's always opportunities to work with new people and, um, you know, and so it's, uh, stays fresh. Well, the world is a better place because you're still doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, yeah. what, what's coming up next for you? What, what's, what's, uh, on the horizon for D? Well, actually, um, I'm going back in the studio basically um, in a couple of weeks. I'm really going to focus on more music over the next couple of years. I was really putting a lot of energy into deep and now I've got some help. And, uh, and so it allows me to have more space to create. And so uh, that's what's on the horizon. And some other things we're, we're actually going to, um, you know, officially um, launch our nonprofit, our deep cares nonprofit so that we could continue to do um, uh, the fundraisers that we're doing. You're doing one coming up on Wednesday. On Wednesday, yeah. A deep thanks yeah. party. And it's to help the victims, some of the victims of the Northern California fire, specifically a school of autism that burned down that we found out about. Where can we find that online? And can people donate through the web if they're not able to attend? Or can our audience Yeah, there's there's actually a link posted on the event page uh, and you can find the event page through our Deep Events um, fan page on on Facebook okay. which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Deep LA uh, And we can find you at facebook.com slash Marcus, DJ Marcus Wyatt Yeah uh, on Instagram is Marcus Wyatt. On Twitter and SoundCloud is Marcus Wyatt. Yeah. Same name. Same name. <laughs> Same name. Name doesn't change. Uh, is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, um, I would say my deep team. Everybody in the deep team. I wouldn't be uh, able to create the stuff I'm doing without them. And, of course, all the people that have been supporting my journey. Yeah, I, I know every time I show up at a deep and event. And always the do-lab as well. Then the do-lab. Do yeah, lab, love. rest assured, yeah. I'm going to get hugged and see smiling faces and yeah. feel at home whenever I go there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, special. Yeah. yeah. Special and you brought family. in the, the, the beautiful Morgan. Yes. Today. My rock star. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I can't wait to hear what you brought in for us today, Marcus. Oh, was I supposed to bring music? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if there's nothing else to do, I am eager to hear what you brought. So let's right. get into the mix with Marcus Wyatt. You are watching Service. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
danser, t'as perdu.
we talk about love But not just any kind of ordinary love We talk about real love A deep love for the music Profound love for the movement A cherished love for the people Unconditional love for all beings around the universe. A cherished love for the people. A smiling love for the place where we at with lots of respect. The conception of having the most beautiful people that you can imagine from different places, different races, different beliefs, dancing to the same beats. It's overwhelming. It's one of the strongest love manifest. Everybody together because the magic door was open and love is the key. Everybody was dancing, moving, grooving. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. Love is in the air. Marcus Wyatt, Marcus Wyatt, ladies and gentlemen, Marcus, my man, what an amazing set you just you just gave us. That was, it was it was just gorgeous, really Thank beautiful, you. man. And you. you had mentioned before you started playing that house music was taking some some interesting turns. Is yeah. that is that some of what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm finding you know, there's just a lot of good music you know, out right now, and I'd never want to pigeonhole myself into a certain sound, um, you know, oh, you know, one thing that's constant is I feel it's deep on some level, you know, like has a feel to it, um, but it could, you know, there's just different genres 
that I'm playing now that, you know, I feel, you know, you appeal to my soul, you know. I mean, you know, how I choose music is when something makes me involuntarily move, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like whatever that is is what I'll play, you know. Well, you, you, you certainly had us moving in the studios. Okay. And, and I felt like you were moving through rooms, like mm-hmm. different different moods. The, the music was almost mm-hmm. textural and ar- architectural in a, in a way. You know, it was really, really something, man. Well, that was good. beautiful. Mission accomplished then. <laughs> Mission, <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, what, so what's coming up next for you? Your uh, annual Deep uh, Well, I'm in San Francisco party. on Tuesday. San Francisco on Tuesday. And then uh, Deep on Wednesday. Deep yeah. on Wednesday. Which is and at people, the treehouse here. It's a fundraiser for uh, an autistic school for children up yeah. north. That yeah, that burned, burned down. Yeah. And uh, we felt like it was a good place to channel some funds because we want to be more consistent. That's amazing. And if, yeah. if people want to donate online, they can go to the Deep Events page. Yeah, and then you could find their link to their site, their um, GoFundMe page. Is it is it too early to discuss New Year's Eve? We have we have something special no, happening no, it's at not Union too early. on New I Year's mean, Eve. The flyers out. So the flyers out. It's not too early. So you're so, going to be playing New Year's yeah, Eve. Yeah, uh, we're doing a, what they're calling a deep takeover of deep the noise takeover. room at a Union. So yeah. There's a lot going on there that night. Yeah, Dub Fire's upstairs. Dub Fire, and, upstairs. Fire and, uh, yeah. and we've got a little something special cooking for day one for after hours there. As oh, well. right on. Yeah. I so, bet. so we have some some treats in store. Cool. I'm very excited about. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, thank you so much for coming in, Marcus. Yeah, thanks it was for having just me. Just a joy to hear you today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, uh, as always, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the people who make this show possible. My co-conspirator, Jesse Wright, our photographer, Mike Avery, Shout Drive founders, Alan Freed and Mark Moody, who marks the tech genius to my right that makes all this possible. And uh, seriously, everybody watching and in the chat and all over the place, you guys rock my socks. Uh, you can catch us here every week on Sundays at 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you like what you see, you can catch it again on our archive along with all our past guests at watch.shoutdrive.com. Uh, you can also catch with, ch- catch up with us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash shoutdrivesundays. And, uh, and thanks for watching. Until next week, remember to love each other. It's another one. All right. All right. Marcus. <laughs>